Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Xexpress Root. In this video, I'm going to show you the home page setting that you can do with Xexpress Root. Well, this video will uh, comprise of the configuration that you can do with the testimonial slider. That is this section where your clients say are shown. Then I'm going to show you the feature section. And the latest post section now let's go to the front uh, sorry back end of your website and go to appearance and then theme option now go to home page setting well these are the sections that I'm gonna show you how to do that is feature block latest post block and testimonial slider well, you can drag and uh, place your sections so in testimonial slider you will get is you can put a title that is what our clients say or what our clients think about us or such a thing and put it as a title then uh, put a description and then you can select a category so to uh, select a category you need to make a new post and assign it to a category so let us do that create a new post enter the name of the client and put a content I'm gonna put some dummy content there set a feature image can upload a file and then set it as a feature image now create a new category then publish the post now similarly add some new post Put your testimonial content and set a feature image. Make sure you check this testimonial slider category and publish your post. Now let me add one another post. Set a feature image. Check on your testimonial slider and publish the post. So in this way we have created three posts under testimonial slider category. Now go to appearance, then go to theme option, and the home page setting. find the placing and then click here now select the category you created that is testimonial slider and uh, save the option now let's go to the front end of the website and uh, see how it appears on our home page So it is just below the call to action section. So this is how our uh, testimonial slider looks like. So with the client's picture, the title, the description of the section, their testimonial words, their name. So in this way, let us configure other section that is the feature block. Now here, this is the feature section title area where you have to put the title of your feature section. 
with the description below. Then for the feature sections, you have to create new pages to select here. So let us create some page. Add a content. Paste it there. Set a feature image. Well, you can get such icons here like in our demo site. But you can also upload any other images. But make sure these, if you want uh, such icons as in your feature section, then make sure it is of 90 by 90 and PNG image. And set it as a feature image and publish it. Now let me create another page. Following the same process. Let us create one more as we have the four feature page area. Following the same process and publishing all the images, sorry, pages. So after we had published and created all the pages, now let's assign it to the feature section blog that is here with the feature section description and select the pages you created for feature sections Now you can also put a read more button and you can edit the read more text. Then save your option. Now let's go to the front end of the website and see how that appears. Here we have it just below the testimonial slider. So this is our feature section with a read more button. So the next is the latest post blog where you can enter your title any title you want to create uh, sorry put and then enter the description and uh, select a number of posts you want there and uh, save your option now let's go on the front end and See how this latest post really appears. So this is the latest post section where the post we have just created appears here. So as this was the latest post we had created, it is appearing here. So in this way, you can configure your testimonial slider feature blog and a latest post blog from here. Thank you very much for watching this video.